Welcome, welcome. For today's video, I want to give my first impressions on solo leveling. Now, for those who don't know, solo leveling is a Japanese anime based on a South Korean web novel written by Chu Gong. Let's just cut into the chase and talk about the anime. So the anime begins apparently three years ago, and we see some hunters dealing with some ants. <laughs> Trust me, dude, you need to burn those motherfuckers down. See, it works. Anyways, if you're wondering what the hell is going on here, don't worry, you're not alone. So basically, some portals, or gates as they call them here, appeared over a decade ago, and the gates connect the real world with a different dimension. And this dimension has a shit ton of magical beasts that crossed over, and unfortunately, conventional weapons like guns have no effect on these beasts. So sadly, there's no boomstick action. Luckily, certain humans have awakened to have super supernatural powers and they are called hunters and based on the amount of magical powers they have they are ranked in the usual order s a b c d and e and once these powers are awakened no amount of individual effort can ever result in greater strength well that sucks Furthermore, the hunters make their living by using their powers to conquer dungeons inside the gates. And they make bank on the resources they collect from inside the dungeons. For instance, they collect essence stones, which are very valuable and can be turned into powerful weapons and gear. And there's also mana crystals, which the government wants to use as a new renewable energy source. And with all that exposition out of the way, let's focus on our pro tag of the show, Song Jinwoo a low-ranking hunter, and he is known as the weakest hunter of all mankind. In addition, he's also poor as fuck as he is the sole provider for his family as his dad is gone, his mom is in the hospital, and he wants to send his sister to college. So yeah, this guy is willing to risk his own life even though he is the weakest one of all. But luckily he's not alone as he is with his friend Ju He, a healer who is trying to keep his ass alive. For example, she constantly tells him to stay out of danger but he refuses to, and if you don't believe me, check it out. God damn, he got stabbed by a fucking goblin. Like, bruh, I can kill one of those with my eyes closed. And while he's being healed, we meet another person, Jahen, an S-tier hunter. And if you don't believe me, check this out. And just like that, she became everybody's S-tier waifu now. Anyways, Sung and the other hunters find a hidden dungeon within a dungeon, and they vote on whether to enter or not. And yes, they enter by majority vote, as it's either that or we don't get the plot at all. And this dungeon looks sketchy as hell. And from here, shit really hits the fan. <laughs> Fatality. But wait! There's more! <gasps> 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 And the episode ends there. So what do I think of this show? Well, I'm liking it so far. The animation looks very spectacular. As I like the action and the violence in this show. Also, the characters so far are pretty likable with 
Sung Jin Woo being a sympathetic character as he's trying to make a living as a hunter so he can provide for his family. And the character Ju Hee for wanting Sung to make it out alive. And as for Cha Hin, just for being badass. And so far, that's the only character development we got. In addition, the setting is interesting and unique as we get to see a fantasy setting take place in the modern age. So yeah, I can't wait to learn more about this anime's world. And so I can't wait to see more. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Also, if you enjoy my work, support the channel at Coffee. And for those who don't know, Coffee is like Patreon, but based. There you can support me, and you can have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. Stay safe out there, and goodbye.